Hello beautiful people, hope so you're all having an amazing day because I'm having an amazing day. Today we are going to cover more examples on recursion as promised. Uh, right now I was just up to date updating my Android Studio so I thought to make an example. So let's move towards the example. So as you people know from the previous tutorial that the recursion is actually a pro process of solving problem by reducing uh, it to a smaller version of itself. The recursion actually has two types, direct recursion and indirect recursion. But for to avoid any complexity, we will only use the process of direct recursion. However, uh, you people also know about the base case. It's actually a, a terminating scenario in that recursion that does not use recursion. Uh, and, and every general case, uh, recursion basically consists of two cases, general case and base case. Uh, all program runs in general case and eventually the general case should get down to base case to end the program and get the proper result. So let's move towards the example in which we will find the largest uh, value from the 10 values which will be which would be entered by the user. So let's move towards the program. First of all, we write the preprocessor directive. IOStream is a header file which contains input output functions. A system pauses our return statement. Many programs use return zero as the return statement. Now I will make the function prototype first of all which is the first step of function making. As our function have to return any value, the largest value, so it should have a return type instead of void. Our function name would be largest. It would have three parameters. The first parameter, which we will pass, uh, are the list of arrays which user will, which user will enter. and the Second and third parameter is the first and last index. Should be like this. All right, last. Now make the function definition. Uh, the parameters which are present in function call or prototype are actual uh, are formal parameters. Sorry, are formal parameter actually, and the parameters present in the function call are actual parameters. The parameters present in function definition and prototype are formal parameters however actual parameters are always present in function call okay so let's make parameters now make the function now make the variables or actual parameters And it could be anything and uh, and we will use loop to pass the values from user we want 10 values Here we go. We ask value from user. Now make the function call.
now make an other variable max to store the largest value function will use itself to find the largest value function is getting called and uh, sorry and the first lost. so in the function call what if we change it to 0 and 9 the apart in order to pass the values the first and last index uh, manually instead of asking from user it's okay in both cases okay now another condition uh, we have to increment the first index uh, because uh, every time it the function will get called the value of uh, the first index would get incremented if the any value which would be present in the index uh, becomes greater than the max variable then the value of maximum would get incremented and re would, re would replace the maximum value and the process will continue throughout the program and eventually the largest value will return to the main function okay here we go if so then it will return this the value present at that index the, would be returned else the value of maximum will be returned from here so this was our logic but what we are writing in this condition is actually the base case about which we I told you in the beginning of program it's actually a terminating scenario in recursion that does not use recursion so you guys can see here uh, we are not using any kind of recursion here uh, what would happen in this condition uh, the you guys can see here the first index is continuously incrementing uh, if uh, ever during the program the first index becomes equal which it would uh, become equal to the last index the program will automatically return back to the main function so you guys can see here now small the screen so now let's run the program let's see what happens our values are 1 okay our values are 1 2 3 4 5 99 6 7 8 9 Okay, so you guys can see here the largest value is 99, which is actually a correct answer. So, here it is. I did this question with the help of recursion. Still, you have any confusion, don't forget to ask uh, this in comment section. And uh, if you have any suggestion, don't forget to write in the comment section. And uh, like always, uh, in the next tutorial we are going to cover function overloading which is very very important topic so if you like my tutorial don't forget to subscribe my channel which really encourages us and uh, 
if you want to test new knowledge of C++ or Java, here are two apps, C++ Programming Quiz app and Core Java Quiz. Link of both apps will be in comment section. Like always, thanks for watching. Peace.